happy new vlog. We have a very busy day ahead of us, um, but I'm feeling good. I have a lot of energy and I've just been getting a lot of stuff done. I've also been doing a lot of puzzles lately. I've been really enjoying puzzles. I find it very relaxing at the end of my night. And I just finished a recent puzzle of all of these fun donuts that I got from Goodwill. Um, so I might take a little break from puzzles just because it takes up all my kitchen table, um, but I'll find a new hobby. But today we have lots to do. I'm gonna go to the gym. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to meal prep. I am gonna go to work. I don't know, just lots to do. I will also be revealing a big secret in this video. Not a secret, more so a mental health update that I haven't been sharing with you guys. So stay tuned for that, but let's go to the gym. All right, just got back from the gym, but had to stop at the grocery store. So we're gonna do a grocery haul because I went to H Mart, which is the Asian grocery store. I'm in Koreatown in Los Angeles. And side note, I'm one of those people where I default to a certain type of food. And so two weeks ago, I meal prepped kind of like Mexican food. This past week, I prepped the like kind of like Italian food, I guess. It was like an Italian salad. And I ended up throwing both of those, like my meal preps away because it was, I could only eat it twice. And then I was absolutely sick of it and gagging at the thought of eating this food again. Whereas Asian food is the one thing I can eat again and again and again, and we'll never get sick of it. So I'm in the perfect spot in Koreatown because there's a ton of Korean grocery stores. So let me just show you some of the things that I got. I got some seaweed snacks cause I love these. I got these banana, they're basically like banana puffed Cheetos for my mom because she loves banana things and Cheetos, so perfect. On the walk home, I was eating these shrimp chips. I love them. They're these Korean kind of, almost like thick Funyuns. So they are fishy, but they had a wasabi flavor. And I was like, I gotta get those. So just a hint of wasabi, but I like pounded half this bag cause these were so good. I was trying to be good about not getting junk food cause they have really good like snacks and treats. Like they have matcha Kit Kats and cool things like that. So just got one little treat for myself. And then for my meal prep this week, I'm gonna be making poke bowls. So I just got a bunch of stuff for that. I got spicy mayo and wasabi sauce. Again, I like wasabi. I got some pickled sushi ginger, cause I love ginger. I got this salted seaweed stem and it's frozen. And I'm not really sure if this is what I meant to get. So I normally get that marinated seaweed salad, but this was like 70% less. It's probably not the same thing. And there's no directions on here, but we're gonna try it out, see if we can throw it in a poke bowl. I got some shelled edamame, so it's not in its pod and I can throw it in there. Some cucumbers, some carrots, and some imitation crab. So all this cost me about 50 bucks, which is a little bit more than I spend on my weekly groceries, but I'm also like, all right, well, these are gonna last me a while sort of thing. But I was also surprised because I didn't get eggs. Their eggs were $6 for a carton of a dozen. No, that's outrageous. I didn't get salmon, which I normally like to put in my poke bowls because it was like 20 bucks a filet. And I was like, I'm not made of money. So we're gonna do canned tuna for these poke bowls. There were a couple other little grocery items where I was like, I'll just get this at Ralph's cause it's a little too expensive at the Asian store. But when I want Asian food, I go to H Mart. So I'm gonna change cause I'm all sweaty and gross. Also, I'd like to note, this is one of my old pair of pants. Um, and these were sliding down on me too. Like I was working out today and this band was just sliding down a lot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm glad I got those new items from Goodwill because even my tried and true ones are just getting a little, a little loose, mostly because they're just losing elasticity, not because I'm losing that much weight. Anyway, let me go shower. I will prep all my poke bowls and I'll show you tonight. So here are the assembled bowls. I have rice, the edamame, imitation crab, some carrots. I'm marinating some cucumbers and then I'll keep the tuna separate so it doesn't stink, but put that with some spicy mayo and I'll just top it when I'm ready to eat. Also the seaweed is definitely not what I thought it was. It's salted seaweed, but holy crap is it salted. I'm gonna have to look up recipes of how to use this because I was greatly misinformed, but it's all a learning process. So we'll see what we can use this for. I just got ready for work because I have work tonight. I'm wearing those flared pants again. Um, and I also have to wear a hat or headband. So I usually always wear this so I can show my curly hair. Uh, here's the assembled poke bowl. I have the wasabi sauce on top, some of the tuna, the cucumbers, and then I added ginger. Probably just gonna mix this all up and eat it all together. Um, 
but I guess it's secret revealing time. This isn't really a secret. It's more of something that I just haven't shared with the internet yet because I wanted to give myself time to confirm it. Um, but basically, you guys have seen in some of my previous vlogs that I have had these depressive episodes and they really started to get to a point where I was like, all right, I need to seek help because my thoughts were getting really bad and it just kind of felt like my life was spiraling out of control. Um, but the reason why I never went to go seek help is because I'd be depressed again in these episodes for two or three days and then I'd be fine. And then I'd be like, oh my God, what was I thinking? That was crazy. Let me get a bunch of stuff done. Oh my gosh, I'm so productive. Like, wow, I can't believe I was ever depressed. This is nuts. Um, so I went and sought help and I told my doctor like, hey, I think I have depression. And after many assessments, they said, you don't have depression, you have bipolar disorder. And I was caught off guard because I was like, no, bipolar is where you just get angry all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. I don't, I don't have that. And they said, common misconception, that's borderline personality disorder. That's a personality disorder. What you have is a mood disorder, which is purely chemical. It's genetic and you're gonna kind of have it for your entire life. And once they kind of started explaining everything to me, I was like, holy crap, that explains so much. My moods would swing from one end of the spectrum to the other, where I'd be depressed for three or four days, I would barely film, couldn't get anything done, couldn't get out of bed, my apartment would become a mess. And then I'd swing to being so hyper, getting so much done, feeling so productive, feeling like I'm better than everybody and being like, wow, I was crazy, can't believe that happened. But then the cycle would continue. But the problem was that I liked the hyper episodes. I was productive, I felt really great that it offset the depressive episodes. And so I've been talking about in some of my previous videos about how I've been on new medication um, and it's for my bipolar disorder. And so I've been on my medication for three months now. We had to work to get to the right dosage and I am doing so much better. I can't believe how much medication has changed my life. I truly wake up and think, is this what people wake up and feel like every day? Just normal. I don't feel super hyper. I don't feel depressed and low energy. I just feel like I'm like, all right, let's go out today, you know? And so it's been wild just mentally how much I realized everything was all chemical and I've been living like this, but just not realizing how big of a problem it was. Um, so that's the secret. I will be making a main channel video about it um, eventually. I have a lot of other story times I wanna get done first, but I will be talking about this on my main channel and kind of reiterating all the things I just told you. But again, because you guys follow the vlogs, um, you get to know little sneak peeks about me. So that's your reward. <laughs> All right, so I finished at work. We had a good shift. One thing I will say after like a month working at this job that my arm's tired and I get sore every day and I'm almost like injuring my wrist and giving myself carpal tunnel. Um, but it's okay, because I still like the job. And what I also like is that by kind of working two jobs, I feel like I have more energy. Like I feel like I'm like, all right, I can, I can squeeze in another video. I could run some errands or go for a hike, which is what I'm doing now. I've been at work all day, I have more errands to run, but we're gonna go for a random hike. So, I don't know, I like that having two jobs has actually given me more energy than me just sitting around making videos. So, let's hike up to the Hollywood sign. All right, it's a new night and we are headed to a fun event. We have another influencer event. So I think I've done another vlog of another influencer event that I've been to. This is only my second one, but I got a plus one for this one. And so I asked my wonderful brother if he wants to join me. This event is actually for the opening of the King Tut Museum or exhibit. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna find out. So I'm running a little bit late, but we are on my way to pick up my brother. Then we're gonna head into downtown LA for this event. So let's go. Wave, give me a wave, a wave. <laughs>
be the one that spilled. Just got back from my little influencer event with my brother and we had so much fun. Chad is one of my besties. So I always have, I always have a good time hanging out with him. It was funny cause there was like one little board game at this event called Senate that we ended up playing twice. And it was just a fun little silly, simple board game, but people were watching us. So it was just kind of a really fun time. As far as the museum itself, it's another one of those that it like, it's really cool. It's a great date night. Um, but when it's all just projections and like a virtual immersive experience, I don't know, some of those I'm like, is it worth the price? It's a good time, it's a fun date, but is it worth the price? You guys decide. You go and you let me know. But really great time tonight. Also, yes, I'm in like my Christmas jammies um, because it's November 3rd, so basically Christmas okay and it's kind of cold anyway while we're continuing on the influencer train um let's open up another PR package just to just to keep on theme I don't think I'm going to be accepting very many more PR packages or doing that's a lie I probably will do more influencer events because I love to do things I just don't love stuff um I've been denying a lot of PR packages lately because I'm like I don't need any more skincare. I don't need any more makeup. It's just overconsumption, and I don't know, it's not worth it to me. However, things that I always do need and products that I am always looking to test out are hair products. Ooh, what is this? So this is from the brand LUS, which I think stands for Love Yourself. Love your curls? Mm, hang on. Mm, I think so. But they sent me a package and was like, hey, test this out. Let me know what you think. And I was like, okay, cool. And then right away they were like, so would you consider like a sponsorship or any type of partnership? And I am very sensitive about the brands that I wanna partner with and put my name on and recommend to you guys. And I told them, I'm not ready to commit to that. I haven't had enough time to test out your products. Like, give me some more time. Uh, but I have been testing them out and I really like them so far. So I would recommend them, but I haven't tested them out enough yet to do like any kind of sponsorship, so. I don't know, whenever I do any type of ah, sponsorship or anything like that, know that I really, really like the brand because that's not what I wanna do with my career necessarily. So it's more of just a cherry on top rather than money grabbing at things that I like. But let's see what I got from them. So the first one is a, ooh, a deep conditioning and repair mask. I definitely need this because I haven't been doing my hair lately because I've just been working in an ice cream shop, which means I haven't been taking care of my hair. And I did my hair for the first time today in like three weeks with a diffuser and all out. And it was dry AF. <laughs> they also gave me a really cute little spray bottle. This is probably gonna be nice. I use a spray bottle. I call it a squirt bottle because that's what my mom used to call it growing up. This one is actually gonna be very nice. <gasps> Wait, I'm actually, <laughs> that's gonna be the dumbest thing ever. Okay, I, I'm starting to really like this brand because they get it. So this is one of those turby twists. So what you do is you you put it on your hair and then you twist it up like a turban kind of thing and it dries your hair. But this is t-shirt material. This is what you have to use on curls because if you use those microfiber like material on curly hair, it makes it frizzy and it damages your hair. So you need t-shirt material. This is pure cotton and I love this. I'm actually most excited about this. So that's really cool. They also sent me a hair gel, which is another thing that I'm always going through and always need, as well as a hairbrush. This is a nice detangling hairbrush for curly hair, which again is something that I need. Um, this is this is one of those perks of being like a content creator and internet person where, yeah, you do get free things sent to you and the goal is that you talk about it and you do genuinely love it and recommend it to your audience. Um, which is always something that I'll be forever grateful for. But I also wanna start getting more pickier about the things that I do accept. And I really am starting to really like this brand. So I don't know, it's just really cool. I just really, I'm really grateful.
for all this stuff. I don't know. Whenever I do like influencer events and get sent things, I'm just like, I made it, mom. This is so exciting. And this is just one of those nights where, oh my God, I think I cried the last influencer event that I went to. Um, just because it's like, wow, I'm I'm doing things. I'm making I'm making moves and I'm I'm proud of myself, but I'm also really grateful just for everything, for the event tonight, for this little PR package, for hanging out with my brother, and for you guys watching. So I appreciate that. But I'm gonna call it a night. I will see you guys tomorrow because we're probably gonna head out to my hometown for hopefully a little surprise. So I'll see you then.